Welcome, we have uh, James Oakey, Head of Horticulture at Unwin Seeds. And James is here to talk about some rather special plants to, uh, to get some colour into your borders. James, good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to this really cold and wet afternoon. Here we have for you Petunia Sophinia Fly the Flag. Now this year, I don't know if you realise, it's the Queen's 90th birthday and also it's the Olympics in the summer. So what better way than let's get patriotic this year and grow some uh, petunia baskets that are full of red, white and blue. Now what you'll receive are three, three packs of three coloured petunias. And these are the world renowned Sophinia petunias that have been leaders in their class for years. Now each plug you'll get three packs, so a red pack, a white pack and a blue pack. Each pack will have three petunias in that look exactly like this. What you need to do is as soon as they arrive, grow them on a little bit longer. And what I'd suggest is get a shuttle tray or something similar, fill lightly with compost, make a big hole and pop the plug in and just neatly firm in. Very, very simply, like so. And then give them a good water in and keep them indoors in a conservatory or on your windowsill best you can. They do not like the frost but you need to get them growing them as soon as possible, otherwise you won't have flower in time for the Queen's birthday. So I take it, James, we've got a total of nine plants there. I mean, Sorry. obviously that's quite a lot there. So what, what would you suggest doing with them once you've grown them on? Okay, keep them growing on, keep them water, keep them fertilised. If they start looking a bit tall, just pinch out with your thumb now, pinch out the growing tip, and that'll encourage lots of side shoots to form. Then when the roots start coming from the bottom of the pot, now and then it's time to start planting them up. Put a layer of compost in your basket. These baskets can be bought separately. And then I would always poke through the hole from the inside out. Because then you're damaging the leaves, you're not damaging the roots. If you damage the roots, the roots can't support the leaves that it has. But if you damage the leaves, the roots can quickly push up some more energy into the plant and regrow very quickly again. Fill your basket all the way round and then keep protected from the frost and watered well. And in May, when it's the Queen's celebratory event for her birthday, you should have some red, white and blue baskets in time. Sounds brilliant, James. What comp compost would you recommend? Ideally, recommend something like Jack's Magic or a container and basket compost, one that has already built-in fertiliser and water-saving gel. It just helps with the watering through the summer. Okay, James, on this cold winter's day, I look forward to getting these lovely plants and I look forward to seeing some red, white and blue colour. Okay.